and I were uh, speaking about what we could do to, that it was different to bring this, bef our initiative before the public in a creative way. And Tim is a writer, so he said, well, what if I write a, a storybook? And we could do it a sidewalk storybook and do it in chalk and get some artists and the people in the community involved in it. And the story storyline or text would talk about genetically engineered foods and the problems that they could potentially have for people. Over 90% of the corn in this country is genetically modified. It's controlled by the chemical corporations. So if you go to a fast food restaurant, you get your hamburger, your fries and your soda. Your hamburger is from meat that's been fed or genetically modified corn. Your soda is high in high fructose corn syrup. Your potato chips are most likely cooked in corn oil. So your entire meal has in some way shape or form being in contact with genetically modified organisms. Most of the packaged foods, if it's not organic in this country, contains genetically modified organisms. And yet, we do not have to label the fact that the food comes from GMOs. There are many studies uh, in laboratories and in farm animals that indicate that the organs of animals that have been fed genetically modified foods, i.e. genetically modified corn in their feed, that when those animals eventually are slaughtered, the organs are substandard. Proposition 37 will require the labeling of packaged genetically modified food. So these chalk paintings are a great medium for public art because so many people get to be involved. I did the designs, but uh, it's so great to have all these people's energy put into this together. And um, so this is a transitory type of artwork because we know it's going to vanish very quickly, but all the energy that goes in here is a great communicative uh, mode. So it's just fun to have that, it's colorful and uh, people enjoy it and uh, the message is there and so uh, see, I just, I just love having everybody's input in this and, and I keeping the drawings, the original drawings and uh, we can use that for future references as well.
if you as a consumer want to consume genetically modified foods, more power to you. If it's labeled, you can identify it and purchase it. If it contains GMOs and you do not want to purchase it, if it's labeled, you have a choice. So we believe that this is truth in labeling and it's pretty much a no-brainer.